Claire's Craft Corner for me and you. Claire's Craft Corner, let's make something new. Hello everybody and welcome to Claire's Craft Corner. Today we are somewhere different, we're in my kitchen. And today we're going to make some craft that's linked to the story that we heard today about Peter and Cornelius. In fact, when you've finished making the craft today, you can retell the story of Cornelius and Peter to your mum and dad. See how well you were listening to the story earlier. Right, okay, so what we've got today, a piece of card. Some of you are going to need to cut it out so that it looks like this. Similarly, we've got a bit of roof that some of you might need to cut out if you're a bit older. I've left you to do that yourself. And a picture of Peter. And also a piece of material that's got four holes in it and I have already put the thread through the holes. I'll talk about that a bit more in a minute. Now what you're going to do first of all is get your piece of brown card and fold it exactly in half. What we're doing is we're making Peter's house and in particular we're making the piece of bit of Peter's house that shows the roof. So what you're going to do once you've cut out your card both sides we're going to get some sellotape and we're going to stick the sellotape onto the roof, like so, and attach it to the house. And you can spread open wide, and then you need a bit more sellotape in the middle. See? Like so. Can you see what I'm doing? A little bit of sellotape there and a little bit of sellotape on this end. Like so. I'm sure that you've got a bit more time to make it a little bit neater than I do. But by the end of it, you should have a house with a roof on the top. And very simply, what we're going to do is we're going to put Peter on the top of our roof is a very funny place for somebody to go and pray isn't it but that's what it says in our story now you can see on your piece of um, paper that's got the picture of Peter on it that there's a little white patch down there and we're going to fold that bit over so that all we can see is Peter and the patch has been bent onto the side like that can you see and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Peter on my roof, or on his roof really, and put a little bit of sellotape onto that white bit that we folded over so that Peter can be seen. So we've made our house, but that's not the end of the story because do you remember in the story that we heard there was a vision. Peter had a special dream and in this dream something came down in some cloth. Can you remember what it was? Lots of different animals. Well, you've got some cloth, you've even got a bit of string so that you can make your cloth come down from the sky. But what we're missing are some animals. Now this is where you have to have a good rummage around at home. What animals have you got? Well, I have found a few animals here. I've got some strange pussy cats and dogs and birds. I've got a panda. Goodness me, I've got some funny things another doggy, a sheep, and I've got a pig. Wow, what a lot of animals. And what I'm going to do is show you what happens when you thread the, the string that you've got through one end, like that, and through the other end, like that. Is if you tie it up, oops, that's come up. If you tie it out, tie it up, by holding it together in the middle and holding it together in the middle of the other side as well so that you're holding all of the four different pieces of cloth like that. Can you see? What you need now probably is your mum or your dad or somebody who's very good at tying knots to tie a knot in your material like so. And then you've got a sheet just like in Peter's vision, which you can raise up and raise down and can appear and disappear as you tell the story again. How fun is that? 
I hope you were listening really carefully so you could remember how the story goes. Claire's Craft Corner for me and you. Claire's Craft Corner, let's make something new.